going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, and unless you have been living under a rock within these past like 48 hours, you know Crackdown 3 has been delayed. That's right, people, delayed until spring 2018. So spring 2018, um, it was left to come out November 7th, and then it got delayed. Spring, so that means, uh, you know, not February, not March, but April, May, June, in, in that area right there. That is when we are going to get the new crackdown. And I don't know about you guys, I was highly, highly upset about this. And the fact being that Crackdown 3 was my most anticipated title, especially for the holiday season. Now, people, um, people know within the gaming industry that, you know, the holiday season is when a lot of shoppers go out. It's a lot, a lot of grandmothers, grandfathers, moms, dads, and stuff. You know, they get their, their presents for kids and stuff like that. It is a time where a lot of money is made. And um, the only true exclusive that I see coming out on Xbox for the holiday season is Forza Motorsport 7. Now, I am a Forza Motorsport fan, and I think 7 looks to be probably the best motorsport to date with so many cars. There's like 700 cars, so many tracks. Uh, you know, they Turn 10 does an incredible job with this um, racing simulator, and I'm not seeing them slow down anytime soon when it comes to that. But with that being said, Forza was already a given for me, and I was looking forward to Crackdown. Now, I am a multi-console owner as well. Between me and uh, O-Snaps, we have all the systems. We have the Xbox One, we have the PlayStation 4, and we have the Switch. Now, me, I'm more of Xbox slash PlayStation type player. I, I like um, I like this generation. It's kind of like hardware, the power, and stuff like that. And when I look at both sides, man, uh, I feel like there's an absolute drought here this holiday. Usually, Xbox is the one that really gives on the holiday season. They really have, you know, the titles that are coming out towards the holiday. Sony has taken a different approach. They have gone more towards the beginning of the year into the spring season to release the majority of their exclusives or whatnot. Now, the whole thing with Crackdown, um, people are pissed off. They have a right to be. And I I've seen kind of like two reactions. Actually, I'll, I'll call them two over reactions. Now, first off, um, you know, shout out to my friends that have said this on Twitter and stuff. And, and please don't take this personally. I've seen it a lot more than just you guys. And that's people talking about, well, they're not pre-ordering the the Xbox One X or anything like that because of this crackdown delay. And to me, um, if you were planning on getting a One X, I don't feel like you were getting it just for crackdown. All right. You know, Forza Motorsport. Uh, you know, the Halo update, the Gears update, over 100 games enhanced for the X. I don't think that, you know, the end-all, be-all was cracked down for the Xbox One X. But I can understand people's disappointment. I can understand people's anger. I know from the beginning of this generation, as I've been talking on YouTube, that I've talked about how PlayStation... You know, over 90% of their exclusives are delayed at least once. I believe this is the second delay when it comes to Crackdown. And um, I, I understand where you guys are coming from. Here's the thing. What I don't understand is apologists, all right? I don't understand kind of like some of the reasoning behind what people are saying, how it's okay for Crackdown to be delayed. I know at the end of the day, guess what, guys? It's delayed. There's nothing I can do about it. But I am upset, and I am gonna, I am gonna, you know, speak my mind. I am gonna explain my anger. So this way, hopefully, you know, the people on the Xbox side of things, they see where people are coming from, and from here on out, they they move forward in a better manner. See, that's what I'm thinking when it comes to this. So when it comes down to it, I'm not telling Phil Spencer, oh no. It's okay. We understand. Whatever makes the game better. All right. First of all, I don't know exactly what's going on with the game. And, you know, for PR speak and stuff like that, Sumo Digital, Xbox, they're not really going to say 
exactly what's going on with the game. Just stating that, you know, they need more time. All right. But like I said, I have gone I have gone at Sony and the PS4 for for their exclusives being delayed, and I am not going to flip-flop and say it is okay on this side. Now, some of the reasons being, well, uh, you know, Crackdown, it was going to get smashed by, you know, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 and, and Call of Duty and stuff like that. I, I don't believe in that shit. I understand their multi-plats they are going to sell, but I believe that there is always a space for exclusives. I believe that exclusives give that platform its personality. When you, when you think Xbox... You don't think uh, another Call of Duty, or you don't think like a Need for Speed. I'm just pulling multiplats out of my ass here. Uh, when you think Xbox, you think Halo, you think Gears, you think Forza. Uh, lately, you know, you think Crackdown, stuff like that. It gives the personality to the platform. So I feel that exclusives are incredibly important when it comes to the PS4. You know, with the Uncharted's and uh, Last of Us stuff like that. And the Xbox, when it comes to Halo, Gears, Forza, Crackdown, Fable, like those things are just as important. I am not a businessman, I am a gamer, all right? I feel at the end of the day, these companies are going to make money, are making money off the platform, and I, I feel like I want my games. That's what it is. I want my games, I want my personality with my platform. So I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, Phil, we understand because, damn, those multi-plats are coming out. If that's the case, then guess what? Exclusives should never come out during the holidays. Ever. All right? At one point in time, Halo came out as a brand new IP. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it came out during the holidays. And look what's happened with that franchise. If you believe in your game and you believe in your franchise, it shouldn't matter what other games are coming out and it should sell point blank period all right i i am not dealing with all that and um when, when people are, are stating that you know the game needed time oh we understand that whatever game make you know whatever makes the game better okay fine but don't go over onto playstation side and mock them every time their exclusives get delayed because they're just doing the same thing making sure the games are better you see what i'm saying guys it is a double-edged sword out there i am the one who is going to walk the same path i've walked this entire generation generation i am not going to sit here and say something is good for one platform but bad for the other so guess what guys you know what when it comes to the 2017 holiday lineup xbox has the thinnest lineup that they have had in years now the thing is that this is a point in transition you're gonna see a lot more um first party games coming out from from 2018 and beyond i already know this all right and unfortunately there are certain reasons within the gaming community within like xbox fans that they have decided to go this way and we're hitting that transitional point where there is not too much at that point in time but you know we do have the multiplats this holiday or whatnot but damn sure this pisses me off this is my most anticipated title now with like um you know fable legends being canceled linehead studios being closed uh I, xbox is starting to catch up to sony in terms of what you know delays and stuff like that uh promising games and then having to either wait or in in the uh, in the fact of scalebound having the game not come out at all fable legends having the game not come out at all now with scalebound if the developers are taking my money right and using it towards other projects to make sure other projects are coming out on time and then in return the game that i'm paying them for keeps falling back in schedule you're damn straight i am gonna cancel that game all right unfortunately it's bad for the gamers and stuff like that but if the dev does not respect me as leading a platform and and decides that they're gonna shit all over my platform and the game that they're making for me um yeah i am i'm gonna cancel that project and it was very unfortunate with scalebound i wish that game was on the system but i can understand why they canceled it but all in all yeah guys crackdown spring 2018 uh very thin lineup in terms of exclusives when it comes to xbox one um 
and a lot of people are talking about what that's going to do for the one x i will do another video uh talking about kind of like the future of the one x and um how it relates to on launch day with uh what people are calling quote unquote launch games which is kind of weird to me because it's mid-gen or whatnot but this is pretty much my topic uh, for this video. So if you like the topic, you like the gameplay, definitely slap that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. As always, I want you guys to hit up the comment section. I want to hear what you think about the whole crackdown delay. I want you to think. I want. I want to hear what you guys think about you know the One X when it, it when it comes out on launch. But as for now, this is the Xbox Four Four Eight. And I am definitely signing off.